What up, guys? Uh, got a couple new things. Um, first, let's start off with my 22nd Jeff Mail autograph. It's a... Uh, it said when I bought it, I got it off eBay, my first eBay pickup. Um, the guy said it'd be a 8 by t- or in yeah, an 8 by 10 and for a little bit more, I, I could have gotten an 11 by 12 Well, as you can see, side by side with an 8 by 10 it's a little bit bigger. It's like an 8 by 12 So, whatever, not the end of the world. First Jeff Mail uh, autograph pick from the 2010 USC game, right after he scored a touchdown. Pretty sure it's one of his best games. Um, and then, a little surprise, you know, I did my um, spring game recap with, with the stuff I got, and this was not in it. Well, the Monday after the spring game, when I got back from the beach, I was unloading all my stuff, and lo and behold, the last pit, the last uh, eight by ten I pulled out of my binder was autographed by B.J. Kelly, and I did not know that, so that was a nice little surprise to come back to. <laughs> so I ended up getting four eight by ten signed, and then I decided to frame or not frame up, just hang my eight by ten of the Duck team or some of the Duck players at the USC game. Above my Jennings jersey, there's Jennings wearing it right there. Didn't necessarily want to want to get it framed yet. Uh, I'll probably get um, Terrence Mitchell, Eric Dungey, uh, Hawkins, and probably Butterfield to sign it. But yeah, and then maybe I'll get it framed. But for right now, it's just in a plastic sleeve above my jersey. And that's really it. So yeah, just uh, my 22nd Jeff Mail autograph and a surprise BJ Kelly 8x10 autograph. Well, let me know what you think.